say love is blind but <laughs> I say the poets are wrong the first time I fell in love I didn't go blind I went dumb <laughs> I mean I, I literally I turned dumb I couldn't even couldn't even speak in her presence you know now granted she was in the fifth grade and I was in the fourth so there was that whole taboo about older women so the really heartbreaking thing is that I got transferred to a new school before I had the chance to tell her exactly how I felt about her. Which is why I had no choice but to buy you this drink tonight because, uh, well, I refuse to spend the rest of my life regretting that I didn't at least get a chance to introduce myself. I'm Johnny. Are you entirely full of crap or just half full of crap? I'm feeling very vulnerable right now. Thanks for the drink, Johnny. But I'm not going back to your room with you. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, would you like to dance? Insurance. What? I sell insurance. Really? Uh-huh. I'm a stewardess. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Got a page. Will you excuse me one second? Sure. Thanks. You up for another round? Oh, yeah. Cute <laughs> dogs. They're not dogs, they're ships. Okay. Three, two, one, three, two, or three. You wouldn't believe the line in the ladies' room. To the friendly skies? So, insurance, huh? Auto, home, or life? I thought you said we weren't going to do this. I said I wasn't going back to your room. Oh, huh, mm -hmm. huh? This is, uh... Nice? Nice is good, yeah. You're, you're very, um, Aggressive? Aggr yeah, aggressive would be a word that my oh. pants are down now. That's something. Yeah? My shoes. Mm. I have to get my shoes. Mm. Forget your shoes. All right, forgotten. <laughs> what shoes? Hello. Hi, Johnny. Look, uh... Rita. My name's Rita. Rita, yeah. 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 So I'm all for a good time and everything. I just don't know if we know each other quite well enough for exactly this yet. I know exactly who you are and what you're here to steal, which is why we've got a very big problem. You're not a real flight attendant, are you? I'm a thief, Johnny, just like you. I don't know what you're talking about. I told you I sell insurance. Oh, did you cut the crap? I'm stupid below. Ohio. You're Johnny Mars, also known as Johnny Martin, also known as Johnny Marucci, the king of the sting. You're here to rip off Fat Tony DeBecker the same as me. Why else would you be in this hotel? Know Fat Tony DeBecker. You have a telescope trained on his office across the street. You broke into my room. You broke into my room too. That's only because I never sleep with strangers. Well, guess what? That's not going to be a problem. It's been 35 seconds now, and for a man who's rumored to have the best hands in the business, you're not doing so well with those cuffs. Who the hell are you? And what makes you think you have any right to move in on my mark? He was my mark well before he was your mark. And by the way, there's a custom tumbler in those bracelets. It's a chromium half gear with a self-tripping catch. Which makes him pretty much Houdini proof, honey. Enjoy the rest of your night. Fine. 
Go steal the diamonds. Do my work for me. I'll just steal them back from you. Yes, then I'll have to kill you. And that could get very messy. <laughs> Maybe we should just pull these highs together. I work alone. <laughs> Look, he's gonna fence the damn diamonds tomorrow. If we stay here all night, they'll be gone. <laughs> Can't we just get back to what we were doing before you locked me up? I don't know what happened to my key. I'm. Do you have any idea who that sure is? It's in my purse. And I Probably the flight attendant whose room we're in. Oh. I stole her pass key a few hours ago. My room's next door. You care to join me? Can we invite the flight attendant? I hate to be rude. Oh. Let me explain something to you, if I may. How do I say this? A man's body is like a finely tuned, high-performance engine, okay? You don't, you don't just get it all revved up and then no drive around the track. Besides building security, DeBecca keeps two guys in his office and a bodyguard with... Get out of my stuff. Try and get an idea of who you are. Like my undies are gonna clue you right in. You can tell a lot about a woman by her undies. Well, I'm not wearing any, so if you want to know something, ask. Oh. Would you like a uh, Cabernet with your filet mignon? Because I'm thinking you look a lot like an 86 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild right about now. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, no, really? Oh, this is never going to work. I, I, I can't trust anybody who doesn't eat meat. Well, fish, I dated a soda chick once who was always nibbling on vegetables. weeds. She cheated on me. I guess she thought the grass was greener on there. Johnny? Are you hungry? Because I'm starving. Lack Johnny? of sex does that to Johnny? me. Johnny? Yes? Can you focus? Tell me about the Becker schedule. Rio, now. relax. I have this whole job planned to it fairly well. Fat Tony DeBecker is a creature of habit. Every day promptly at 9 a.m., he has breakfast at his desk. Oatmeal, two prunes, and a pot of black coffee. 9.15, he retires to the throne room, which is right down the hall from his office. We jimmy the door, and we lock him in his bathroom. How do you propose to do that? Super glue. Cool. Thing one and thing two, go rescue the fat cat and the crapper. Leaving DeBecker's office totally empty, except for his faithful secretary, Irene. That's where we come in. Package. Use a wall safe. It's a late 80s model, Ultra Gem series from AKL. Nice, but out of date. Just like you. Hey, that's a marvelous safe. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's not good. You want to crack it or blow it? It'll take me five minutes to crack. It'll take me five seconds to blow it. What's the point of blowing up a safe? That doesn't take any finesse, no talent whatsoever. Anyone can explode a safe. By the way, it's very noisy. Fine. You want to crack it, crack it. No, you're not being supportive. You're just saying that. I just hope you're half as good as you think you are. Johnny, let's go. Stop watching me. It's taking you far too long, Johnny. Time to go. I can do this, Rita. I can do this too. It's called plastics. I am one digit away. Fifteen seconds before Rita, turn it off blows. the timer. I can't. I almost have it. I'm not joking, Johnny. Rita, Seven. Turn the timer off. Six. Rita. Five. Rita. Four. Three. Bloody hell! Got it. It's called trust. Oh. It's called sticking to a plan, Shut up, Rita. It's it took called. Took more than five minutes. Trust. I'm sorry. 
You blew up half the money. Yeah, but the diamonds are cool. Johnny, dig in. Pull up, pull up. Ah. What's wrong with you, Johnny? Where's your muscles? What is this, an Olympic event? Well, that's what you get for eating hormone-laced meat. Vegetables give me gas. Eight guns. Oh, crap! Get up there. Excuse me. I gotta tell you, I love the view. I'm a fan of the view. Where are my keys? I don't know. You drove. Oh, no. You left the dead keys in the car? You have a coat hanger? Excellent work. I almost hate to tell you that the diamonds are fake and the cash is counterfeit. I'm Special Agent Shu. This is Special Agent Trundle. Can't tell you what an absolute pleasure it is to finally arrest you. How could you have locked me down? 
Stand down, look in the car. Was you. Was this in your master plan, oh, too? Oh, come on, Rita. You've been working for them all along, and you know it. How can you say that? You seduced me, and and, and you pulled my pants down. Oh, okay, okay. oh, let the record show that I have never had sex with this man. You set me up. Oh, I set you up. Hey, hey, hey. You know, How do I know you set me up? Your thing. Justice Department set you up, Johnny, not me. That Tony the Becker had tax problems. Ergo, we offered him a deal. Help us nab you, we help him out with the IRS. We just set the trap, Johnny. You took the bait hook, line, and counterfeit sinker. You mean to tell me you went to all this trouble, this, the, the fake guys, the surveillance, this whole damn elaborate sting just to catch him? Yeah, and what am I, a door price? Turner, why don't you tell our defendants what they've won today? We're looking at 25 years for armed robbery, sir. Not to mention battery, mayhem, public endangerment, grand larceny, conspiracy, unlawful use of explosives. I'd say they'd want a trip to the big house for life. What do you want? I head up the interagency task force for the return of stolen and missing U.S. government property. Is there an acronym for that? Which basically means anything and everything the government thinks belongs to it. Because that's an awful lot to put on a business card. We can see to it the charges against you are reduced or even dropped. In exchange for what? We simply want you to steal something back that was stolen from us. Are you crazy? You're the enemy. I'm not crossing the street. You and want you to go to prison? Are you really ever that brain dead? That's too bad, because we happen to think you two make an excellent team. Oh, come on. Let's face it, Johnny, her strengths cover your weaknesses. And vice versa. What weaknesses? You don't like to fight, and to be perfectly blunt... She keeps some serious ass. Well, I can kick ass, too. Or what about the chinks in her armor? Rita has difficulty working with others, especially men. She also has anger management and major input We cut to the chase! Either you do this together or the deal's off. I'd rather go to prison. Me too. Be my guest. I demand to speak to my attorney. Put your handcuffs back on. What are you, crazy? You gotta do it. He said I can't work for the feds. I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. We're talking the full force of the United States Justice Department lowering the boom on you. You gotta cooperate, Johnny. You got no choice. My lawyer says no deals, okay? No way, no how. You gotta cooperate, Johnny. You got no choice. Are you really batting a thousand today, aren't you? If we do decide to go through with this, what exactly is it you want us to steal? A tape. What? A videotape. Of what? We can't tell you that. You want us to steal a tape, but you can't tell us what's on the tape. That's correct. It's gotta be sex. It's not a sex tape. See, now I know it's sex, because when a man says it's not about sex, it's always about sex. What if a woman says it's not about sex? Then it's not about sex. Do you see what I'm dealing with here? I bet it's the president. All you need to know is that the Justice Department needs to recover that tape in the next 48 hours, or there'll be a very, very serious price to pay. The uh, tape was stolen from a high-level federal employee. We have reason to believe the thief's an ex-guy by the name of Leo Kanowski. We have reason to believe the tape is in the briefcase. This right here will be Mr. Kanowski. Best of our knowledge, both the suspect and the videotape are still in the city. If you attempt to remove or tamper with the tracking device, you'll be in automatic violation of your parole and subject to immediate incarceration. How am I going to shave my legs? Interagency task force for the return of stolen. Let me remind you of something. If Johnny runs off, you're behind bars, and if you run off, he goes to jail. So if I were you, I'd keep a really close eye on each other. <sighs> As of now, you have approximately 46 hours to locate the tape. Godspeed and good luck. You're never gonna find that videotape in a city of five million people. I will. I'll find the tape. Yeah? How? I'm not telling you. You're the last person I would tell. Steal my ID, double-cross me, take the tape, and I'll spend the next 20 years in prison. Okay, I've made a mistake before, but what's it gonna take to make you trust me? Strip search? Now listen to me, Johnny. We're stuck together, like it or not. So you want to keep your butt out of prison, keep your hands to yourself and your mind on the job. You got it? Don't look now, but I think we're being followed. Of course we're being followed. We have low jacks on our ankles. I say don't look now. What's the very first thing you do? You look. I hate this. I hate this. Schematics are fairly basic. I just need to attach these bracelets to something warm without breaking the circuit. I love it when you talk dirty. The heat-sensitive tracking devices, Johnny. They need a warm body, otherwise it trips the alarm. And if the alarm goes off, they put us in Leavenworth. And if they put us in Leavenworth, it'll be the caboose. Ouch. You get it? Got it. Good. Go make yourself useful. 
Yes, sir. Come on, Ricardo. Alfredo, come on. Oh. Let's go then. Let's go. Good. 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 Very good. Let's take the service elevator. I can't believe you shower without me. I ran a web search of all the Kanowskis in a three-county area, cross-checked with parolees and recent use of debit cards. I've come down to 27 different ATM locations. So let me locations. get this straight. We park ourselves He's out in front you of 27 different me. banks and wait until Leo needs cash? I don't know, Johnny. I'm just trying to suggest Reader, something. calm down. You know, you're like a fart in a skillet. Did you just call me a fart? I have a plan. In a skillet? You're going to love this plan. Oh, you haven't had an intelligent thought since the moment we met. We hire a hitman. A hitman? Yeah. For what? To find Leo, to bird-dog our boy. Absolutely not. Frida, think about it. Who's better at tracking down targets than a contractor? That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard, Johnny. The fewer people who know what we're doing, the better. We're never going to find Leo on our own. Can't even find matching socks. I don't find things, Rita. I take things. That's why we need a specialist for this, and I know the best in the business. You know what? Next time you want my opinion, don't ask. Good, because I've already made the call. All right. What kind of ride do you want? I don't care. Pick a car, any car. I said I don't care. All right. How about this one? No, that's a gas hog. They ought to be outlawed. They're bad for the environment. All right. Pick another car. Whatever you want is fine. How about this one? Johnny, that's too flashy. What are you, Goldilocks? We don't want to draw too small. much attention to ourselves. Flashy. If we steal this something flashy, the fact that it's bought it. We're going to be late. <sighs> Nice ride. I'm told it gets 40 miles to the gallon. Rita, Polly, Polly, Rita. I'm out of here. You should know enough to come alone. Oh, come on, Polly. She's straight up. Believe me. I'm a professional, Johnny. I don't have time for your flavor of the week. She's not my girlfriend. She's my partner. I never forget a face. Nice to meet you, too. So how you doing? How's the family? Oh, great. Good. And you? How are you? Good, great. Feel great. Felt any better? I have to be twins. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. I love your hair down like that. Yeah? Really? Thank you. It's got uh, bounce or something. I don't know. And you've been working out too, haven't you? <laughs> you either use it or you lose it, right? <laughs> I know the drill. All right, so here's the mark. Uh, all we have is a face name and a social. If he's in the city, I'll find him in 24 hours. Guaranteed. All right, just find him. Don't ice him. Mm -hmm. Nice seeing you again, Johnny. Well, then I'll, I'll just ride shotgun then. It's fine. It's locked. You slept with her. That's all I'm saying. How can you say that? Because I can tell. Can I turn up the heat? No. How can you tell? Because I can just tell. You can tell. I can tell. You can automatically I can tell. tell. Oh, so if we're at a baseball stadium and there are like 10,000 people in the stands, you can automatically pick out the one I had sex with? Oh, I'm sure there's more than one. Oh, okay. Listen, all I'm saying, and don't take this personally, okay? But it's been my experience that business and sex do not mix. Are we still talking about Polly? It's like church and state. You have to keep your your work life and your 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 sex your, your intimate life totally separate. Two separate tracks. Well, at least I do. And this would be because. Because otherwise, my whole life just gets. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Okay. Every few hours they come out, leave the hotel, walk once around the block, and then go back inside. What's up with that? My heart melts, my brain turns to slush, I forget what I want. I don't care what I need anymore. All I can think about is making him happy. It's like him being happy becomes my drug. He's happy and I'm high and, and, and this is not healthy. This is not a good way to live, let alone any way to do business. I 
I think we should, um, I think we should hunt down Kanowski's ex-girlfriends or ex-cellmates or, or, or do something. Bottle. Why'd you let me drink so much? I just downed a litre. Litre. Tannins are so fine. You know what you need? Come up to my suite and chill out for a while. Excuse me? No, a little sparkling water, maybe DP on ice, if you're into that kind of thing. DP? Yeah, don't pray on. Seriously, come on up. I even let you play with my telescope. Ugh. So I'm guessing that's a no. I refuse to let the night end like this, okay? I'm going to issue an apology. Give me my key and get out. I hereby apologize for anything I've done or will do to upset Rita, okay? And that, and that apology extends both backward and forward. What are you doing, Johnny? I mean, what are we doing? We have less than two days to find that damn tape, and Rita, your main concern is no, to no, try and get in my pants. No, no, no. All I'm saying is that whatever your line is, I'm sorry that I crossed it. That's all. Don't you dare try and con me. I'm not. I'm just trying to keep the line straight here. I totally understand. I mean it. This is strictly a business relationship. I, no sex, all work. I, I hear you loud and clear. You look for Kanowski, I look for Kanowski. Right. And we're we'll not look getting for Kanowski. Yeah, I mean, we're not getting anything done like this. We're so under the gun. I mean. No, I'm sorry. I just, I just thought you were into me, that's all. Well, I'm not. Honey, your crutch is vibrating. Turn up. Excuse me. Hello. Okay. 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 When? Where? Okay. Polly found Leo. Can I pick him or what? Huh? 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 Get real, Johnny. They're never going to pay for a contract. They're not in a million years. I don't think 50 G's is an unreasonable amount to pay a contract killer. I really don't, Rita. Besides, she did it in four hours. That's over 12,000 an hour. So? She didn't even have to kill him. She would, if we asked. No, 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 no. Told you. We're not paying $50,000 to a known criminal. Told you. How do you know she's a criminal? I'm talking about you. She'll kill us. She's going to kill us. If we don't pay, she'll kill us. She's not killing me. One thing you never want to do is not pay a contractor, okay? We pay or we die. Not paying Polly is not an option. Just take it right off your option list. I'll kill her before she kills me. She's not talking about killing. Nobody's killing anybody. Not you, not Polly, nobody killing. No, enough with the killing. If we don't pay her, we don't get the tape. If we don't get the tape, we go to prison. Polly can still kill us in prison. <sighs> so how many times did you sleep with her? I don't want to talk about it. I'm a virgin. Me too. I say we go out the front. That's the last place I'll be looking. You know what? I got it. Got what? Just thought of a little way to get the money. That's all. You waiting for us? Mr. and Mrs. Winston. After you, dear. Thank you, Cato. You're a good man. I know this nightclub is raking in so much hot cash off the ecstasy scene that the manager has to stuff it in garbage bags and hide it in the ceiling. You're in trouble? No, here's the plan, okay? We wait until sunrise. That's where the cleaning crew shows up. We jump the cleaning crew, we take their outfits, we stuff the naked cleaning crew back in the van, presto changeo, we're the cleaning crew. It's perfect. It's beautiful. What do you think? What do I think? Hmm? I think I've had it with your stupid plans, Johnny. What do you mean, stupid plans? Your plans suck! You suck! This whole situation sucks! I don't know how I ever got involved with you. First you lock the keys in the car. And you're never gonna let that go, are And then you hire a hit woman who wants to kill us. So from now on, we do it my way. I hope this is the right place. I want 50,000 in cash and a cold beer now. What are they gonna do, arrest us twice? 
You never bring people to my home where I live. This is so not cool, Johnny. I'm sorry, Polly, but we're in a bit of a time crunch. Next time, leave your trash on the street. Tell me something. Are you always a raving bitch? Or is it just Johnny's charm that brings it out in you? Honestly? I'm pretty much a hard ass 24 7. But yeah, Johnny come lately and as often as he can does tend to work my nerves. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I just wondered. Because I gotta tell you, he's driving me off the wall. <laughs> Men. Then I know it. Oh, please, don't need to count it. I trust you. Don't worry. Thank you. I like your pajamas. Shut up, Johnny. Okay. Konovsky's at the Waverly. He's been moving two or three times a night. So I step on it. That's not Kanowski. No, that would be Kanowski. Don't you tempt me. I had a taste of blood. I killed before I killed again. He's in love. Don't get back. Take Kanowski. I don't have it. I wish I never saw it. I wish I could be one my whole life. All right, please, please, don't kill me. Ah! There's our little front on the floor over there. Look, it was self-defense. He had a gun, all right? I had no choice. Can I help you? Yeah, sure. Can I help you? Yeah, sure. Can I help you? Oh, he's not here. Sorry, wrong room. Honey, what did you do with my diaphragm? See, Kanowski's one flight up. Right, what did you do with my diaphragm? Yeah. I think it's in the car, sweetheart. Oh. So I'm at the courthouse to see my P.O., right? I spot this guy's briefcase. What does she do time for? Shoplifted forgery. Anyways, I get the case home, pop it open, hoping for credit cards, you know, Palm Pilot. There she is, the golden goose. Golden egg. The goose wasn't golden, the egg was. Whatever. All right, Leo, what is on the tape? You don't want to know. No, I want to know. Believe me, I really want to know. If you know, it'll kill you, too. If you don't tell us, I'll kill you. Get in line, sister. Okay, I thought I was sitting on a gold mine. I'm sitting on a descent. Can you pass the equal, please? Thank you. I can't even sell the damn tape. They want to buy it. Yeah, they all want to buy it. But they want me dead when they buy it because of what's already up here. I know. I wish I didn't know, but I know. Hey. Now, I'm going to ask you this one more time, Kanowski. Where's the tape? I'm not stupid, all right? You think I'm stupid? I'm not stupid. I hit it. Where? Where's the last place you think of looking for a videotape? Right, last night I knew someone was following me, see, so I ducked in here and I snatched it on the shelf in the back where they keep those movies, the writing on the bottom, no one ever rents them. You mean subtitles? Yeah, 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 I put it right here. It's right on the second shelf in the bottom over here. Ah! Oh! It was right here, I swear to God, I put it right there. I swear to God. You know how I can tell when a man's lying? Look, I'm not lying, okay? Mouth moves? I'm not lying. with a picture of a boy talking a bike. A boy talking a bike. It was here last oh, night. You're probably referring to Vittoria De Sica's film, uh, La de Bicicletta, 1948. Yes, that's it. That's the one. It's a masterpiece of Italian neorealism. That's my movie. It was rented this morning. To who? To whom? To whom was it rented? I can't tell you that. Oh, I think you can. In fact, I insist you can. No, I can't. We pride ourselves on protecting our customers' privacy. It's a very strict policy, no exceptions. Listen, you little snot-nosed intellectual, it's a matter of life and death! Sir, it's due back on Tuesday if you'd like to reserve it. I am bloody tired. Uh, Salvatore, may I speak with you over here for one second, please? Now listen, my wife is defending her doctoral thesis on post-war European expressionism this wow. afternoon. Wow. And she needs to reference that tape. It's very, very important. Please, if you could just put us in touch with the person you rented it to, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If my manager finds out about this, he will kill me. Salvatore, please, please, don't tell anyone where you got this address. Ugh. She's one of our best customers. If you're lying to us, Leo... <gasps> the Russians are coming. I hate government work. This is ridiculous. We don't know what we're looking for. Well, if you see George W. Naked, stop. 
All right, you know what, Rita? Stop grabbing tape willy-nilly, okay? Don't! Leo's led us on a wild goose chase. I'm gonna find him and kick his ass if they haven't hey, already killed him. this one already. Rita, we need a system, okay? Left to right, right to left, anything. Boy, dog, bike. What'd you do with the remote? I don't know, you have it. I gave you the remote. Well, it's probably in the car with your car keys. Oh, good, because I thought maybe you blew it up with the safe. Oh, look at this. Hey, it's the remote. I'm so sick of you coming on to me and putting me down in the same breath. Me putting you I down? Can't... All you do is criticize me. You know what? That's your well, problem that's really with men. Well, that's really difficult, Johnny, because you're just so Rita. damn You can't hot. let you any... You get to women. What are you doing in my apartment? Struggling to keep our marriage alive. Don't move. I'm calling the police. We've tried therapy, ma'am. We've tried long, romantic weekends, but... Nothing seemed to work until we taped ourselves having sex. And once we started, we couldn't stop. We did things to each other in the privacy of our own home that even I'm ashamed. Oh, God, must I spell it out? She made me wear her shoes. I had sex with her strappy heels on. And now it's on tape, and we accidentally put it in the video store box, and... Ma'am, please, I'm begging. May we have it back? Now I want to see it. Oh, don't bother. It's, it's very short. The tape. Strappy heels. Is that the best you can do? It worked, didn't it? I could think of way more perverse things than that. Oh, yeah? Like what? Wouldn't you like to know? Shooting, I don't like being anywhere near where shooting occurs. Like that, I don't like that. I break into people's homes when they're asleep, Rita, and if they wake up, I leave. Oh. Nisha, shoot thy life at the occasion. Fast boy, pause it in Natsura. Give us tape, or this garbage is dead. You don't have to kill anybody, we'll work something out here. Sada! Ah! You know what? I'm not dying to see this damn movie, and neither are you. You're right. We're not going to win the war like this. All right, guys. We give up. We surrender. Now let us go. All of us. Give me that first. What are you waiting for? Let's let him have it. Better be worth it. There was so much blood. So much blood. And he still kept on stabbing them. I watched him kill Susan and her mother. He killed her father last. <laughs> because he said he wanted him to watch them all die. I was spending the night at her house. And he didn't know I was there. And there was so much blood everywhere. A witness. A secret witness in a murder trial. That's what this whole thing has been about. I've never stolen anything as valuable as the life of a child. The girl was told if she testified on tape that we'd keep her safe. 
She saw her whole family being butchered. The only eyewitness left. If her face was ever seen or her name got out, you know what they do to that. All right, I hate to rain on your victory parade here, boys, but let's change the channel to my favorite subject, me. Found your tape, saved the kid, sent a dangerous killer to his death gurney, and now I want my just desserts. Yes, and he did it all by himself, too. Clean slate, no record, sayonara, we walk. I absolutely stand by my word. We're dropping all charges against you relating to Fat Tony DeBecker. Thank you, sir. However, you have committed so many other crimes in the last two days that we're in a bit of a pickle. A pickle? You're in a pickle? Conspiracy with a known killer, armed robbery, oh, grand no. theft, oh, armed kidnapping. No, no, guys, we had an agreement. We had a deal. This is cheating. We asked you to recover a stolen tape, not break a dozen other laws in the process. I demanded talk to my attorney. I've spoken with my superiors of the Justice Department. I think we can work something out. In fact, someone stole a painting from the Smithsonian just last night. Hey, which painting was stolen? The Harper. I love that painting. Somebody took that. Yeah. It's an outstanding example of the American school of realism. So we're still working for the government? The enemy? In a nutshell, yes. Both of us? Together? Serve your time in jail or serve your country. Your choice. Rita? Margarita? May I come in? It's locked. I have a stellar champagne, Rita. Well balanced, soft to the palate. Tastes like money. Hi. Hey, I said it was locked. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was like a test. No, that was like me taking a bath, Johnny. I thought maybe you want to celebrate, you know? Mission accomplished, all that. This is a terrific 89 from the uh, northern part of southern France. You're going to love it. It's so dry, I'm telling you, it'll knock your socks off. You like me to wash your back? If we're gonna work together, we need to lay down some ground rules for sex. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, because this bondage thing you're into freaks me out, Rita, okay? <sighs> and if we bring cuffs into the tub... I'm and I'm not having rust. sex, but I'm not in love. And I'm not in love with you, Johnny. Well, I'm not in love with you either, Rita. I'm just thinking friendship with privileges, that's all. Right now, I don't even like you so much. All right. But what if down the line, at some point, you actually do fall in love with me, okay? And it's never gonna happen. It might. It won't. It could, and what if we fall in love? What if we're like nutty crazy in love with each other, and we find out we're perfect in every conceivable way except for sexually? Sexually, we're not compatible. Isn't it best we find out now? That's all I'm saying. It's very interesting. Yeah. But think of it this way. Okay. If you try and climb in this tub with me, mm -hmm. I'll kill you. Say good night, Rita. Good night, Rita. Thank you.